This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and this will be another abbreviated edition as uh, continue to have connectivity issues. There's our surface front that's moving through the area. It's going to wash out, going to be essentially insignificant, although we can see that the dew points are in the lower 60s across the northern part of the state, whereas they're in the low 70s in the southern part of the state. So there's still a little bit of uh, a boundary, and we saw just a few showers in the east central part of the state yesterday. QPFY still tells the story. It looks like we're going to stay dry, even though we've got a tropical system developing to our south, and that system is still complicated as to whether it's going to come our way. Westerlies are still pretty far to the north with the slight risk back out over uh, uh, Montana uh, for, from the Storm Prediction Center. There's a look at the developing system in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the National Hurricane Center places uh, the probability of that becoming a storm in the next 48 hours at 80 percent. And there's the track, and that certainly tells you the story. Uh, you know, it can go up into the central gulf and go right. It can go up into the central gulf and go left, or it can go up into the central gulf and possibly come up into Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. So the question is, where is it going? And that's the big question and the complicated factor. Let's take a look at the 06 c GFS model run, and we'll uh, supplement that with the European as well. There is a look at the 500 millibar pattern for tomorrow, Sunday, and you can see the reflection of the surface low over the northern gulf. And uh, the European in pretty good agreement with that, maybe just a hair uh, south of that position. On Monday, the GFS suggests that it's going to uh, go to the northeast and come across north Florida. And uh, on uh, Tuesday, you can see that it is indeed going across the Florida Peninsula. That is not where the European heads it. This is at the same time. This is midday on Tuesday. And you can see the European has shifted it to the west and is moving it across the Gulf in, into uh, South Texas area. Going on out to Wednesday, uh, there's the GFS taking it on off. The ridge builds in even stronger across our area, so that would certainly mean that the dry weather stays with us. The ridge expanding across the southern tier of the United States on Thursday and the storm out in the Atlantic. The European, on the other hand, though, shows that uh, the ridge, now they're, they're both similar on the ridge, but the European showing that the uh, tropical system is in along the Rio Grande in, in South Texas. All right, sticking with the GFS till the end of the period here, we can see that we do see another frontal uh, coming down our way on Friday, by Friday at least, and that could actually bring some relief in terms of uh, in the Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame could actually uh, bring some uh, relief in terms of slightly drier uh, humidities uh, with some 50s coming our way. And then by Saturday, you see that uh, it actually enhances a little bit and, and does suppress the ridge substantially. And that would uh, be nice to see as we head to the uh, end of uh, the seven-day forecast period. Well, again, uh, thanks uh, for being patient with the abbreviated uh, uh, weather extreme videos. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And keep in mind, the heat indices and especially heat over the uh, western part of the state could get up into the upper 90s, maybe even a few spots hitting those uh, three-digit values of 100 degrees. So keep the heat in mind. A few showers possible today over the southeast part of the state. Otherwise, it looks like continuation of hot and dry. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.